Um, so now we'll talk about uh, some stuff that we can do about it. Again, I'm not going to blueprint uh, a diet for you. I'm going to kind of give you a skeleton of, of some things that um, are, are the proper way of doing nutrition. But really, that's one of the things I do in my clinic is have people take a food journal, uh, take things out of their diet, put things in, kind of give them a, a more um, more of a plan to follow. That's not what this is going to be. This is going to be a little bit more uh, in general. <clears throat> Average calories per day. Calories are uh, calories are what you consume that you need to burn off in order to stay the same weight. So averages from 1,600 to 2,500, and it depends on a lot of different factors. Uh, male or female, it depends on um, your height. If you're trying to lose weight, how active you are. Um, a lot of people will do a really, really low calorie diet. Again, that's not really healthy either. That's a, a good way of losing weight or, or losing weight fast. Um, you always want to be above the 1500 uh, calorie level unless you're being supervised by a nutritionist, a, uh, a trained professional, a doctor, something like that. Um, anything below that, you start to go into starvation mode. Um, you could run into some problems. So 1600 to 2500 is a, a pretty good ballpark. Um, I didn't write these on the, the sheets, but these are some good uh, websites that do calorie calculation and what you'll need to be consuming if you want to maintain weight, if you want to lose weight. And then some people, especially athletes, actually are trying to gain weight. So uh, it takes in, again, a bunch of considerations if you're male or female, your height, uh, your activity level, so on and so forth. Um, really, you only need that the first little part of the website, my calorie counter, free dieting, walking. If anybody wants these afterwards, let me know and I'll, I'll uh, put this back up and you can write them down. Um, okay, so now we, we talked about the, the total diet, how many calories you need per day, and now we'll talk about the breakdown of the diet and how much of each component, uh, fats, <coughs> proteins, and carbohydrates that you need or that should be, uh, make up your diet as a whole. Um, so the first one we'll talk about is fat. Everybody wants to eliminate completely fat. Your body needs fat. Um, you need about 20 to 30 percent of your calories coming from fat. Uh, the problem that we run into is that average diets today are between 40 and 45 percent fat. So we're getting 10 to 20 percent more fat in our diet. And what that translates to is that that fat is stored and that's what uh, leads to weight gain. The other problem is that you're getting 10 to 20 percent less of the other stuff that you need, either protein or carbohydrates or nutrients. Um, so you're actually mal having more malnutrition because you're upping your fat intake and lowering everything else as a result. Um, not all fats are the same. Uh, there's saturated fats and then there's unsaturated fats. So saturated fats, most people know, are the bad fats. You want to limit it to no more than 10 percent. Really, you need zero saturated fats. These are the good tasting fats, butter, animal fat, um, hydrogenated oil. Um, unsaturated fat are always considered the, the um, good fats. They're uh, fish that has a lot of oil in it. Um, olive oil, nuts all have fat in it as well. Um, and they're used uh, cardiovascularly to um, clear your blood of um, cholesterol and are also used in the cellular membrane or the actual cellular makeup. So fat is something that you actually need in your diet. Uh, moving on from fats to carbohydrates. Again, another thing that people like to completely eliminate. Uh, not a good idea. 50% of your total calories should come from carbohydrates. Um, carbohydrates are, are sugars, uh, vegetables, any kind of pasta, bread. Everybody knows about that. Um, but really, what's neglected is the vegetable. Uh, part of it. Uh, you want to always limit your sugar, especially really refined sugar. Your body's, again, not, not really meant to process really, really refined sugar. So uh, that's something you want to limit. Um, whole wheat pasta, fruits, vegetables, um, that should make up a high percentage of uh, the carbohydrate part of your diet. And then protein, uh, 10 to 15 percent. Everybody's on the really, really high protein kick. You really don't need all that much, a lot of protein, we're going to talk about that in just a second, can actually be detrimental to your health. Uh, so 10 to 15 percent, again, this will go up a little bit depending on if you're um, trying to lose weight, trying to build muscle, depending on what you're doing. <clears throat> so um, now we'll talk about pr protein a little bit more specifically, how it's good and, and how it can be bad. Um, 
so not all proteins are considered uh, are created equal. Uh, there's two things you want to look at when you're looking at proteins. One is the amino acid uh, concentration in the protein or in the food, and two is the absorbability, how red readily that it'll absorb from your small intestine into the bloodstream and can actually help build muscle. Um, so foods are scored from 1 to 100, 100 being the best, based on these two factors, based on the, am the amino acid content and uh, the absorbability or how uh, readily your bodily body is able to use the protein that it's taking in. And <laughs> here's a breakdown. Egg is thought of as the perfect protein or that's the standard. Um, it scores 100. Again, it's highly absorbable and has a high concentration of amino acids. Um, going down, milk uh, at 84, fish 76, beef, um, which most people really want to use as, as the uh, bulk of their protein intake is all the way down at number four, really at the bottom of the animal proteins um, at 74. Soybeans have a high protein concentration. They're readily absorbable, but they don't have a high amino acid content, so they get a lower score. Rice, wheat, corn, beans really aren't um, good sources of protein. Um, out of the top four, though, really fish is going to be the best bet, not because it's the highest amino acid content or the uh, has the highest absorb absorbability, but the other four uh, eggs has a high cholesterol, milk, a lot of uh, allergic reaction to milk, lactose intolerant, um, and beef, uh, we'll talk about that in just a second, has a lot of negative uh, side effects. So we'll talk about protein and it's linked to a couple different diseases and, and protein and cancer, and this doesn't mean to be scary or anything like that, but I'll just kind of read this off, animal proteins, um, can increase cancer risk, and this is due to how meat is generally cooked. Um, cooking meat at high temperatures uh, produces carcinogens, which is a cancer-producing pr uh, agent. Um, heterocyclic amines is the particular name of this uh, carcinogen, uh, and this is specifically true when you're grilling meats or, or burning meats. So when you burn um, animal flesh, it denatures and then it forms this compound, and that's been linked to a lot of different um, types of cancers. Again, there's a little link here. If anybody wants it, there's a really good article about why exactly this happens. Um, it happens really when you burn any um, animal or, or um, plant product. The, the reason why uh, meats are generally worse is because we're grilling meats. We're not grilling vegetables generally, and, and we're, we're cooking them different ways. So um, be careful when you're grilling meats. And um, next is protein and inflammation, and I'll just read this one off too. Um, red meat specifically, and that's what we're talking about here, is high in arachidonic acid. Uh, arachidonic acid can chemically lead to inflammation in the body. Um, this is especially true for people with inflammatory diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis. Um, studies also link AA, which is arachidonic acid, um, to heart disease. So again, this is specifically red meat. So eating a lot of red meat, if you're predisposed to any kind of inflammatory condition or you have an injury or pre predisposed to any kind of cardiovascular disease, this can, um, having a high concentration of red meat in your diet um, can give you problems. <coughs> so um, here's a review of just what we talked about. Uh, the dietary breakdown, fats 20 to 30 percent, carbohydrates 50 to 60 percent, proteins 10, uh, 10 to 15 percent. And here we'll just talk about really uh, just a skeleton of, of the basic diet. Again, not anything real specific. Um, a lot of whole grain foods, uh, whole grains are complex carbohydrates instead of eating a lot of sugars. Um, limit salt or extra salt intake, intake um, extra salt leads directly to high blood pressure. Uh, red meat, we talked about that, limit that. Eat more fish. Fish, uh, one, have a lot of protein in them. They're lean. Um, and number two, <coughs> they have the high concentration of fish oils, which uh, counteracts cardiovascular disease. Uh, really, a light amount of sugar, plenty of vegetables, obviously. Um, plenty of water. Water is what your body kind of runs on. It's keeping your metabolism high uh, by keeping yourself very hydrated. And you want to eat a variety of foods, not only proteins, no carbohydrates, uh, eliminating fat completely. Uh, you want to eat a variety of foods because every food has its own nutritional value and your body needs all these different uh, nutrients to be able to function.